Here are some crazy facts about Iga. And it's not that she's the first Polish tennis player to ever win a Grand Slam title. But there are other astonishing things about her we didn't know. So, our number six on the list is about her mental strength, a mental game. Yes, we all know that. Iga Shvantek stands out not just for her formidable skills, but for a unique element she brings to the game. A sports psychologist, Daria Abramovic. This isn't your typical coaching team addition, and it's this distinctive touch that sheds light on the malfated nature of Shivantek's approach to the sport. Picture this. Try to picture this. A Grand Slam tournament. The stakes high, and the midst the usual outrage of coaches and trainer. There's Daria Abramovic. A psychologist, a silent yet pivotal figure in Shivantek's corner. It's not by a chance, it's a strategic move rooted in Shivantek's past struggles. Look, just in the back years, in her younger years, emotions often got the better of her on the court. The frustration of a bad point could cascade into a loss of control over the match. Now, enter Daria, the unsung hero of Shivantek. Shivantek's game. I quote, prior to the match against Simona Hill in Paris, she made sure I had a positive attitude towards the match. Thanks to that, I was able to take a initiative, initiative, sorry, end of quote, Shivantek's reveals. This nugget of insight unveils the profound impact of sports psychologists can have on an apple's mindset. In the high stakes world of professional tennis where confidence can be a crucial as a powerful self, Daria's influence becomes a game changer. But it's not all about pre-game pep talks and mental conditioning. Daria Abramovic goes beyond the conventional offering Shivantek's ayukelele, a seemingly whimsical gift with a purpose. This musical instrument isn't just for entertainment, it's a tool to foster better emotional control. The strings of the ukulele becomes a metaphorical bridge between the intensity of competition and a calmer state of mind. In the midst of the fierce rallies and universe racking tie breaks, Shivantek can lead solace in the gentle charming of, a, of the ukulele. So in the world of sport psychology, where the focus often centers on our resilience and uh, mental fortitude. The addition of ukulele might seem uh, a bit unconventional, yet it's a perfect encapsulate Shivantik's holistic approach of her game, acknowledging the emotional intricacies and finding unique personalized solution. Fact number five is Iga Shivantek's tennis prowess lies in a family narrative rich with sporting heritage and a dash of a good-natured banter. Here's, here's is a tabit you might not have known. That the Shivantek family isn't just witnessing Iga's triumph. They are, they are well versed in the world of sport themselves. Meet Tomasz Shivantek, not just Iga's dad, but a seasoned wars man who once navigated the waters of international competition. His aura strokes uh, weren't just for show. Tomasz represented Poland in the men's quadruple schools, squall, sorry, at the Seoul, Seoul Olympic securing a commendable seventh place. The echoes of his achievement uh, reverberate uh, in the familial, familial DNA that, uh, that causes through the eagle's vein. Mm. So, but the sports saga does not conclude with the Tomash. Enter eagle's um, Enters Iga, enter sorry Aga, the Iga's Aga sorry, the Iga's older sister, 
who for a spell faltered with the tennis. However, in a plot twist that has a touch of reality to the story, Aga eventually chose a career path beyond the realm of sport. It's, a, it's the classic tale of sibling exploring divergent path, each contributing to the family mosaic of experience. So Mr. Thomas, with a weary smile and a hint of pantal wisdom, reflects on his role in shaping his daughter, tennis, destinies. So I caught, I learned from my mistakes when it comes to my daughter's tennis career. End of quote. He chuckles, a candid admission that parenting, even in the sporting arena, involves a learning curve. I caught, whatever, whatever didn't work with the uh, older one, hopefully is going to work with the younger one. End of quote. He adds, the humor underscoring the resilience required in guarding the next generation. While Yatia Svaize Potoweski takes the reins of as our eagles coach, Tomas' influence is no mere footnote. He played a pivotal role in her early years, instilling not just the love of the sport but the wisdom gleaned from personal experience. In the Shivantex playbook, family is a crucial uh, player is a crucial player with each member contributing uniquely in Iga's journey. Number four, here's a little known fact that adds a splash of diversity of Iga Shivantek's athletic repertoire. She once swapped the tennis court for a splitted atmosphere of Legia Washawa football match. If you happen to catch a glimpse of, of her in the midst of fervent football fans, it wasn't a case of a mistake identity. For a stretch, Shivantex proudly rolled uh, the colors of Legia Washawa, practicing her tennis skills on the club's courts and flashing the iconic L in photos. Imagine the contrast. The intensity of tennis match replaced by a row of football supporters, yet Shivantex seamlessly Embraced, embraced, sorry, both worlds. In those moments, she just, she was just, she wasn't just a tennis priority. She was a part of the vibrant tapestry of Lagia Washawa's sporting community. Our number three about the Queen of Clay is she loves old movie series. So when, when I was asked about her favorite series, her response was swift as one of her 400 winners. She, say, she said, it's a mad man, no hesitation whatsoever. What draws her to the show isn't just the cool retro vibes of the 60s about the intricate portrayal of the nascent days of advertising in the United States. For Shivantex, Mad Men isn't just entertainment, it's a source of intrigue intriguing insights with the enthusiasm sorry she shares i quote the series has a cool ritual atmosphere as it's as it takes place in the 60s but at the same time it decepts the beginning of, adver adver of advertising in the u.s in an engaging way it's important to me to admit that i can learn something interesting from a series and it's one show one shows many mechanisms and ideas which are obvious for us but we are something brand new at the same time end of quote it's a peek into the off-court uh interests of a tennis sensation revelation that we, that behind the powerful self and strategic plays there's someone who finds joy and fascinating in the world of advertisement history the madman uh, the madman with its stylish portray of a bygone era bygone era and the, uh, the evolution of marketing becomes more than just a series it becomes a window into Shivantek's appreciation of nuances of storytelling and innovation even beyond the tennis court 
we all know that she's now become evidently a queen of clay. But also you need to know she is an unwavering supporter of the king of clay himself, Rafael Nadal. It's not a passing fancy. Shevantex has been firmly entrenched in Rafa's camp for a long time. And her admiration for the tennis titan is evident in the way in the way she speaks about him. So, what draws Shevantex to Nadal? Uh, it is a blend of air with its athletic prowess and an indomitable fighting spirit. I quote like she said, I quote, because I admire him as an athlete and his fighting spirit is a modern sportsman, end of quote. She declares, Rafa's reputation as a tennis warrior, the one who battles res resentfully till the final point, resonates deeply with Shivantex mirroring her own tenacity on the tennis court. But it's not just the grit and the domination, it's the playing style that captivates Shivantex. She expresses her affinity of the high top spins, a style that she, she herself incorporates into her game. The left-handed forehand, a signature move of Nadal's that has clinched numerous tournament wins, becomes a source of inspiration for Shivantek. But somehow, acknowledging the tennis legend, she extends ex ex respects to Roger Federer, a true icon on the spot. However, when it comes to personal preference, Shivantex and Bashley leans toward Rafa. I quote, I am more into Rafa because I love his energy. Sorry. End of quote. She quips adding a touch of play, playful sincerity. It's not just about strokes and stuff. It's about the intangible energy that resonates with Sivantek, making her alliance to Team Nadal not just a fun choice, but a connection forged through shared playing styles and a mutual appreciation of the resentless pursuit of victory. One thing that you didn't know about Iga is she listened to rock music, and these are the rock beats from she listened from Pal Jam, the funk, the funk of the red, the funk of Red Hot Chili Peppers, the uh, fizzy, chedilic tones of Pink Floyd, the Latin infused melodies of Santana, the the anthems of Coldplay and the electrifying tunes of ACDC. It's not it's not an old school radio. Leads it's a Shivantek's very own playlist. A curated collection of classics that might surprise those who only know her for her own court prowess. But why fascinating the rock music from the past? Shivantek takes us behind the since revealing that the soundtrack of a tennis journey was shaped by musical prefaces of, of her coach sorry during the tournament travels echoed when i was doing the as you, i was going to sorry when i was going to tournament that's the musical my coaches listen to end of quote she explains so the melodies of the past weren't just a background noise, they will become part of Shivantek's journey, weaving into the fabric of our experience on the road. As the beats, as the beats of Pearl Jam and the soulful notes of Santana becomes the backdrop of her tournaments, Shivantex found herself fond of the classics. Her move of the older musical isn't just a matter of taste, it's a recognition of the depth and the authenticity that characterized the music in the past. I quote, I guess my fascination with the older music is a result of the fact that music had more value to it in the past. It's the, it had a greater spirit, triggered emotions, and was less synthetic. End of quote. She muses.